I'm Dr. Thomas Armstrong, and I wanted to talk with you today about a new study which has appeared in the journal Pediatrics, which is the journal of the American Academy of Pediatrics. They have a study which suggests that children who are the youngest in their grade are more likely to be medicated for ADHD, and they do poorer on standardized testing. This study really alarms me because it suggests that we're labeling and medicating many kids who are simply the youngest kids in their class, who are simply developmentally immature. I've long suggested that ADHD is a developmental issue. In my book, ADD, ADHD Alternatives in the Classroom, I cited a study that suggested that the symptoms of hyperactivity and impulsivity actually decline as people get older. People mature and those symptoms begin to go away. Also recently, there's been a study suggesting that the brains of ADHD diagnosed kids are actually proceeding in a normal fashion. They have normal brain development, but there's one catch. Their brains develop three years later than more typically developing kids. Again, we have indications of developmental immaturity going on and not a medical disorder. Our schools, unfortunately, don't understand this, and they push kids to do things before they're developmentally ready. The sorts of things that we expected, uh, used to expect first graders to do, we now expect kindergartners to do. In my book, The Best Schools, I actually suggest how we can structure our schools in ways that are sensitive to the developmental needs of kids at each level. But right now, there seems to be such a pressure on kids to perform academically, to do well on those standardized tests, that this idea that kids might be developmentally delayed uh, and uh, need more time to mature is simply not given any understanding or, or, or attention. At any rate, I hope that you will keep these ideas in mind, um, especially if your child has been medicated or diagnosed as ADHD. Uh, when in fact they may be simply young for their age and young for their grade. And if you have concerns, I suggest that you talk to a developmental pediatrician who will hopefully um, understand or be able to tell whether or not your child uh, has developmental delay or whether or not in fact there is a legitimate ADHD medical disorder going on. Anyway, thank you very much for listening.